Juniper Networks finds backdoor vulnerability in their firewalls. Juniper Networks Incorporated announced on December 17, 2015 that they found a backdoor code vulnerability in their firewalls. Knowledgeable attackers could potentially gain administrative access remotely via Juniper's net screen firewalls and decrypt virtual private network connections. Juniper Networks has since released a critical patch update. These patches have been released for Screen OS, which is Juniper's firewall software. Juniper Networks claim they found this backdoor security flaw through an internal code review. Juniper recommends their customers install recently released patches. Also, Juniper claims they know of no known exploitations of this security risk. Bob Worrell, Juniper Networks' is Senior Vice President and Chief Information Officer was quoted as saying, On behalf of the entire Juniper Security Response Team, please know that we take this matter very seriously and are making every effort to address these issues. More information and guidance on applying this update to systems can be found in the Juniper Security Advisories JSAs available on our Security Incident Response website at advisory.juniper.net. All net screen devices using screen OS 6.2 Dot zero release 15 through 6.2.0 release 18 and 6.3.0 release 12 through 6.3.0 release 20 are affected and require installation of release patches. This security backdoor vulnerability only affects Juniper Networks' screen OS software, which is that operating system that runs their firewalls. You can check out Juniper's security announcement for more information. A user could potentially gain administrative access remotely via Secure Shell, SSH, or Telnet. Also, a user could potentially monitor virtual private network VPN traffic via encryption. Both issues are independent from each other. This Juniper Security Bulletin addresses more technical information about both of these potential backdoor security flaws. Let's check out those links. They have some frequently asked questions. Why did this issue require an out-of-cycle security advisory? Juniper is committed to maintaining the integrity and security of our products. We strongly recommend that all customers update their systems and apply these patches releases as soon as possible. What devices does this issue impact it's verbatim basically what i wrote all net screen devices that i went over through in my blog post is the srx or any other juniper based system affected by these issues these vulnerabilities are specific to screen os who can i contact if i had have additional questions about my system you can email sirt at juniper.net this is more technical information if you're curious about this it goes into details about the first issue which allows unauthorized remote administrative access to the device over secure shell SSH or Telnet and it gives you an example of how that person or personas could potentially remotely access your Juniper firewall and gain administrative rights and then also it goes over that second issue the second issue may allow a knowledgeable attacker who can monitor VPN traffic and decrypt that traffic. So they can monitor that traffic by decrypting it. And those both of those issues are separate of each other. And then it goes through with some solution verbiage and workaround as well as implementation, modification history, and some other uh, risk level critical <laughs> critical and then risk assessment. Adiós.